when the sun is high in the sky, it delivers approximately 1,000 watts of power to each square meters of the Earth's surface. That's when it's directly above our head. The temperature of the surface of the sun is about 6,000 watts, uh, while that of the Earth is about 300. To make the entropy created in one year by the flow of solar heat into or onto a square meter of the earth okay so let's find out uh, how much of a, a solar flux do we get from the sun over the course of a year uh, given that uh, every square meter on earth receives thousand watts of power so uh, the total amount of uh, heat or en energy that will be transferred from the Sun onto the earth will be uh, Q so this is Q from the Sun to the earth that's 1000 uh, watts which is let's break down the watts so we can see how to work this out this is joules per seconds and we would have to multiply this by the number of seconds okay so in a year we'd have to multiply this by one year in seconds so every uh, so times one year and you know you could change the year um, uh, into uh, seconds uh, so every one year on average there's 365 days and each one day okay so let's assume on average we get about eight hours uh, of sunlight uh, overhead sunlight because you know it's gonna differ uh, whether you are um, uh, uh, it's the location will make a difference um, whether uh, it's the Sun is directly overhead or it's uh, at regions near the equator where the day isn't um, varying much from 12 hours um, right so the, just to average all that let's just say eight hours of uh, sunlight every day um, and then every hour is uh, 3600 seconds or you can go to minutes 60 minutes then every one minute is 60 seconds either way and uh, if we do the math here we will get Q to be uh, 1.05 times 10 to the 10 joules because uh, all these units will cross out okay so uh, now we know that the temperature of the Sun so this is Q total the temperature of the Sun is uh, how much was it 6000 Kelvin right so that means the entropy lost by the Sun okay in order to provide this much energy because it's giving energy from the hotter object to the colder object from the Sun to the earth so this is gonna be for the Sun is equal minus since it's negative as we explained 1.05 times 10 to the 10 joules uh, so I'm using here Delta s equals Q over T assuming that the temperature of the Sun does not vary over the course of this transformation uh, this is the surface of the Sun and this is Q total so this is 6000 Kelvin and so if we do that we will get one point seven five times ten to the six joules per Kelvin now there's also an entropy change associating associated with the earth because the earth is accepting or receiving this energy and the temperature is different 
so the change in entropy because the change in entropy total will be the change of entropy associated with the Sun plus the change of entropy associated with the earth so I would have to find each one separately so this is also going to be Q Q is the same because whatever the Sun lost uh, assuming that there is no loss along the way was actually gained by the surface of the earth so this would be Q total and this would be positive because it's gained divided by the temperature of the earth and so this will be uh, 1.05 10 to the 10 joules divided by 300 Kelvin yes this should be 3.5 times 10 to this this is negative 3.5 times 10 to the 7 joules per Kelvin so the net entropy change so Delta s will be Delta s of the Sun plus Delta s of the earth so this will be uh, minus 1.75 times 10 to the 6 plus 3.5 times 10 to the 7 and we will get change in entropy three point three three times 10 to the 7 joules per Kelvin so this is the entropy created in one year by the flow of solar heat onto a square meter of the earth that's the entropy gained by the universe assuming it's positive so it's gained as uh, demanded by the second law of thermodynamics uh, it's gained by the universe assuming that correctly assuming that the earth and the sun are in a closed system within the universe okay now for part B it says suppose that the plant grass on the square meter the square meter that uh, the earth absorbed from that solar pow power from the Sun some people might argue that the growth of the grass violates the second law of thermodynamics because disorderly nutrients in the soil molecules so on and so forth are converted into an orderly life form how as a physicist how do you respond to this argument well this argument is clearly flawed there is no violation of the second law of thermodynamics whatsoever and the reason being uh, you are converting this solar energy right uh, the entropy uh, that is being lost as a result of all these biochemical reactions would be way smaller than this entire change in entropy that turned out to be on the, uh, on the order of 10 to the 7th uh, joule for every Kelvin and let's let's try to actually put some numerical value of this just to show you uh, what I'm saying uh, let's say that you, you, there's some kilograms of grass on a square meter of earth uh, and let's say that this square meter of grass let's say contains usually soil contains carbon and other atoms uh, let's say we have a th uh, for example thousand or on average let's just take 1200 moles okay of carbon and other atoms okay uh, now uh, what would the net reduction of um, uh, entropy be well uh, as we learned that the uh, net reduction of entropy uh, for something like this would be second here uh, would equal to 
en en k okay m times volts mass constant which is 1200 moles times look how the units work out uh, k is 8.3 joules 8.314 joules per mole kelvin and if I cross out the moles I indeed get uh, joules per kelvin and uh, this would be what uh, let's see about 10,000 it's uh, 0 0.998 times 10 to the 4 joules per Kelvin yeah, uh, yeah this is for uh, we approximated this for uh, an Einstein solid uh, where the number of energy units is much greater than the number of molecules okay so it turned out to be nk so this is uh, right this is our CV here yeah or Delta S okay and so this is taking with n mol uh, 1200 moles uh, so this is how much reduction we would get okay now uh, clearly look at how much smaller this number is than the one in green if I figure out the change clearly so this is like let's say for the grass uh, clearly from this argument Delta s total is much larger than de not a little larger it's a lot larger than Delta s of the grass right and if you were to take the ratio between them right uh, what's the ratio here this is 3.33 times 10 to the 7 divided by 0 0.998 times 10 to the 4 you would get three thousand three hundred and thirty seven so the the increase in entropy overall from uh, as a result of the energy coming from the Sun to the earth is three thousand three hundred and thirty seven times greater than the reduction of entropy in the soil as a result of ordering the molecules and changing them into a more orderly fashion uh, or or character of life form of life so indeed you could see that there is no violation of the second law of thermodynamics whatsoever so second law of thermodynamics holds this concludes the question